The stew is overcooked, it's boiling over. This is a cycle of hatred that needs to be broken. There's no other way to fix these things right now. The Most High must intervene. He doesn't have a choice. And I'm sure there are many who disagree with that. There are so many people who hate the Most High right now. Uh, they would rather trust Lucifer because Lucifer also offers them things. The Most High does not have to make any offerings to you. You must remember he is the creator of these things. All these things should be added on to you if you just remember yourself. Why do you believe the words of a liar and hate the words of a man who speaks truthfully? You would rather walk with him. You would rather be seen with him. When you go and party and drink, you want to hang out for the weekend, you would rather be hanging with that guy than to be hanging with me. I'm most likely going to be seen as a party pooper. And guess what? When you feel that type of way about me, you can already guess how I feel about you. I don't want to be seen with you either. I don't want people to think this, this person that you are is who I am also. I'm not a follower. And honestly, I don't even want you following me. I prefer to be alone anyway. You should want to be your own man. Why are you doing what everyone else do? But you have a problem with me for actually telling you this to your face. Instead of going behind your back and saying things about you that are not true. You'd rather be out hanging with him. You're a foolish boy. It's time to grow up. It's time to recognize these things are not real. These things that you're getting yourself into. These delusions, these dreams that you keep on chasing. They literally tell you to chase your dreams. They don't want you speaking on reality. They'd rather hear you talk about the things that you're dreaming about. You rather, they'd rather see you pursuing those things. As soon as you fall flat on your face, that guy that invites you to your party, he's not going to help you up off the ground. He's going to hang with the rest of his friends and joke about how foolish you look laid out on the ground over there. This is what happens when you side with the devil. You allowed him to define your purpose. Because you didn't remember yourself. I'm only telling you that's what happened. Why are you mad at me? There are people out here who will actually tell God to shut up. I mean, they feel like they're interfering with things that they're trying to accomplish when they're chasing their dreams. 
If the Most High tells you those things are not meant for you, why would you tell him to shut up? That's disrespectful. And yet, you seem to already submit your place in the Most High's kingdom. You are a fool. That's arrogance. That's pride. You know, they say pride is one of the deadliest things. In my opinion, that is true. The most, but the most dangerous of them all is envy. It's definitely envy. If a man catches another man in bed with his wife, that spirit of envy will immediately take hold of him. He will cast himself into the lake. The spirit of envy will make you do unspeakable things. The spirit of envy spreads a cycle of hatred that never ends. That is one of the most hateful demons out there. You cannot rationalize with these people. They will never hear you. They're deaf, they're mute. They have no ability to speak. They have no ability to hear. They only know hate. Stay away from them. The devil. That's the devil himself if you ask me. That's why they say money is the root of all evil. A man would kill another man if he has more money than him. That spirit of envy is a nasty demon. He would never respect you if you keep thy wits about thyself. He's going to always, even when he knows he cannot defeat you, he will never stop trying. He would rather die than to give up trying to tear you down. He would rather die. These people chase death. If they see you going the other way, they will ask many questions. Satan really is a foolish individual. That's why they call him Happy the Jokester. He got that nickname because he does nothing but foolish, act like a fool, day in and day out. He's so jealous and envious of humanity that he will go out and pull pranks on them. He will trick them into condemning their self. He foolishly believes that he has command over you because he's getting you to do these things. And yet, he does not have the ability to speak you into existence. And he knows this. That spirit of envy takes over him. He is a weak link. Whenever he loses a battle, that he will run away like a coward. Why would you choose to follow a man like this?
You started the fight. Yet you run. Like, G- like Jesus told Judas, he said, you betray me with a kiss. This is what Lucifer did to the Most High. It called the kiss of death. That's where they come up with these, uh, these saints, these type of saints. These phrases, they come up with stuff like that for a reason. It's usually related to this guy, believe it or not. They call it the kiss of death. He is the angel of death. He is the angel on the left hand side. That's why Jesus told you, if you'd rather be partying with him, then you're going to also burn with him. You can't blame the Most High for that. You brung that on yourself. You chose death. These people are lined up, wrapped around the corner, waiting to get inside of this gate. People love to venture into the unknown. People love to do dangerous things. I saw these people wrapped up around the corner. These people, the line never ended, man. They were waiting to get in. They were not, they were not running away or trying to run away. They actually want to go in this place. They love to explore new things. But like Pinhead said in that movie Hellraiser, he said he has such sights for you to see. And these demons really would show you things. These things are not things that you want to see. Trust me. It's dark and gloomy at first. See, people love the mystery about the place until they actually get inside. Then they start begging to get out. It's too late. When I looked at, at the gates of heaven, how many people were standing outside? It was only like five people. I'm not even kidding. I only saw like five people standing outside the gate of heaven. The gate of hell, I didn't, never saw the end of that line. It didn't seem to have an end. It makes sense to me because of the word I'm looking around me. And I'm seeing the world that we live in, the way these people are. It's pretty obvious that these are those same people I saw waiting in that line. It's very obvious to me. No one has to tell me that. Those four or five people that I saw stand outside the gates of heaven, I'll probably never meet those people in my life. It's an unfortunate truth. I'm not saying these things that, to be mean. I'm saying these things because they hurt my feelings. We need to do better. So there was this one guy who asked me about where does it say in the Bible that people go to hell? If I'm not mistaken, Jesus referenced that in Matthew 25, verse 41. It's definitely chapter 25. One of those verses, I think it's verse 41.
He tells you what happened to these sinners who don't repent. They seek comfort on the left. The reason why they're on the left is because they will never do right. They would rather stumble in the darkness, stumble into the unknown, than to come back to the Most High. Because it doesn't sound very fun to them. We have all these intelligent men and women who have a very low IQ spiritually. That's why the Most High calls them dumb. He specifically calls them dumb and not stupid. Because physically, they are stupid. Spiritually, they are dumb. It's important to understand the difference. It's important to simply have understanding at all. So, whenever the Most High is calling, do not ignore. Don't, don't ever say, come back later, I'm busy right now. I'm busy balancing out my life choices with my spirit. These people don't understand, I am what you see. Yet, you think you know me. You don't even know yourself. They'll hear me say things like this and they'll say, how could you judge me? And my question to you is, how can a man have sound judgment if he does not have proper discernment? And you wonder why the Most High say these people are dumb. It's not even what I say. And yet they get so mad at me. They would rather not hear me speak. These people chase death. They worship death. You will see more people gather around me when I'm dead than they would when I'm alive. Their pride would never allow them to do these things because they worship themselves. They basically worship death. Any man who worships himself also worships death. He believes he can kill himself and restore himself anew. Yeah, these seven deadly sins, they all have some very interesting personality traits. None of them are alike, but they're all unique in their own way. But that spirit of envy, I'm telling you, you better watch out for that one. That, that's the one that is more willing to hurt you. That is the one that is the most willing to hurt you. That spirit will attack you any chance he gets. He is a very foul beast. He stinks. He is a pitiful abomination. He would destroy everything in his path because he believes he, need, he deserves everything. He contradicts himself. He is a fool. <laughs> 